So if we have a minor look, we had the winners final being played out. Uh, sorry, semi-final one between I know PD Gaming Boy and Chung, where we saw PD and Chung going through the semi-final one and thus making it to the winner's final, thus sending I know and Gaming Boy to the loser's final. In the second semi-final, we had Winky Face, Min, uh, Simply Nick and Spider duking it out and where we saw Winky Face and Min going through, uh, thus sending uh, Spider and Simply Nick into uh, loser's semi-final where that in the uh, in that match we saw relatively a wicked match uh, with simply nick having an insane comeback and then in the end snapping the slot in the uh, losers bracket final together with Einol. although it was very very close between him and spider but sadly spider's mistake there cost him the uh, the slot and continuation in the tournament as well uh, today we will uh, have uh, we will be witnessing the winner's bracket final, which is going to be between Chung, Min, Wink, uh, Winky Face, and Fiddy. Uh, we will have a small recap just before the match, uh, but also with already doing the recap, we are going to be joined. I will be joined by Crizo for some, uh, for the first two matches for today. And Crizo, how are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, um, bringing you all the action from today's matches. Had some. Awesome matches yesterday, absolutely awesome to watch. Some uh, crazy, crazy races, big wipeouts, and looking forward to see how everyone goes today. So yeah, soon we will have the matches starting. Matches will start in approximately 7 minutes. It's going to be the winner's bracket final. Uh, so in the winner's bracket final, it's going to be a matchup between uh, Chung, Fidi, Min, and Winky Face. So who do you think are the favorites in this matchup? We did see that the, both Koreans did win their both of their respective semi-finals, had a solid performance, have improved a lot of times in there, but of course don't count out of the Australians as well, since Fidi was the winner of the last uh, Asia Oz Chuck Media Championship in the summer edition, and Winky Face has been stepping up his game all the time, has been on the top of OCE leaderboards in the campaign, and also starting to pop off in the couple of day reruns and definitely starting to improve as a player now trying to fight for some world records and maybe starting to challenge Mada in the campaign rankings but we'll be able to challenge the Fiddy and rest of the Koreans in, in this tournament as well don't count out simply Nick and Einol that's gonna be a match that we're gonna be witnessing a bit later on so who do you think will be the favorites in this uh, matchup or will you be biased about your own countrymen Fiddy and Winky Face? Uh, or do you think that Koreans who have actually their very first few competitions uh, in a while now happening, or will they be able to pop off in the, in this matchup? Oh well, yeah, absolutely. It's going to be an amazing match. Uh, Korea versus Australia. Um, I'll try and uh, not be biased here. Um, I think uh, after watching Min's performance in that, that second match yesterday, he absolutely dominated that bracket. His performance on 23 when everyone around him was struggling was... Uh, something to watch for sure, so I think Min is going to be someone to watch out for. Um, I think Fiddy as well, he's going to be strong. He did have a disconnect during his semi and was still able to uh, make it back and qualify. So I don't think we saw uh, Fiddy's strongest performance just because of that. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely looking at Min and Fiddy, but definitely not going to count out Chung and Winky. Winky, I have noticed he's improved a lot of times in the, uh, the records of the track. Uh, today, so he's definitely been working hard, um, but it's going to be a good match. But for sure, I'm looking at Min and Fiddy to uh, to go through to the finals here. Okay, Min and Fiddy. I will say actually, those two are gonna be uh, the contenders. Also, one thing to note that Chung has moved to uh, west coast of the United States, so he has uh, not the most optimal time conditions. Okay. So that's the thing to keep an, uh, uh, keep in mind as well. Uh, but we actually a bit uh, look at the players who will be witnessing in this match that's going to be upcoming. So first, one of the players we, we already mentioned is Fiddy. Uh, Fiddy is a player from Australia. Actually started playing with this new game as is 20 years of age. Plays on a controller Xbox One. Main preferred camera is camera 2. Mainly preferred styles is dirt surface and precision like maps. Uh, one of the best performances for him has been first in the last uh, AOTC, as we already mentioned, in the summer season where he managed to uh, win. Actually, he had a flawless uh, tournament there. He did not lose a single match when it was the massive double elimination bracket format being played out. 
And then in he, when his first edition, his first competition was the, in the spring edition of a AOTC or the Asia Strike Mania Championship. In the first edition, when he was quite new to the game, new competitive scene, he did manage to play six, though it's a major step up. And let's see if he'll be able to maybe pull a two timer here and maybe to defend his title and as well as uh, get some cash prize on top of that. So the next player is one of the more experienced players in this region, Chung. Also, he is also quite new to the new game. Monly has been playing in Trackmania 2 and Trackmania uh, United or Nations forever. Uh, is from Korea, is 26 years of age, plays on keyboard and is very versatile with cameras. He prefers mainly in camera 3, plays dirt in camera 2 and Ice plays on camera 1. Uh, mainly is a tech player used to play in Team Q and Alpha. Uh, uh, in Team Alpha, like uh, five to six years ago, has been quite uh, uh, a bit of a, a common player in the FB weeklies that were happening in like seven or six years ago. I think some veteran players of Trackmania will uh, good, uh, remember the good old times of. Uh, of Raspiel weekly races and he managed to get some solid performances there also had played in CPESL CPS team tech competitions together with team Q and uh, Alpha uh, I believe he played the core as well so some of the very notable names in terms of uh, tech team competitions as uh, the third player in this winner's final that we're gonna be witnessing is Min since we have a small increase of Korean uh, interest in the game in the competitive scene especially is at 19 years of age, has uh, does uh, play in a hydrobus setup with being keyboard and a controller. Main camera is uh, cam one. Plays also in uh, on uh, is a bit of prefer style of attack and very short style maps. Although it's like uh, during this competition, he has definitely improved on different surfaces as well and has definitely showed a solid performance that he can be a very good all rounder, having a very sick performance yesterday in the semi final. Uh, two, one of his best results in his opinion is joining VSP, who, which is a quite prestigious Trackmania Nations United Forever clan. However, he recently was starting to challenge Karian on this current season's Fall 2021-21 uh, tech track, where he managed to join a world record uh, in uh, from Karian. Karian did take it back, but definitely that's showing that uh, he can challenge the top positions, and he already has like a couple of pretty solid campaign positions on some of the maps. So definitely a player to look out to, especially since he's starting to get more involved with the new game. So definitely a, na a name we might witness uh, in the future. So. Also, after this uh, a bracket that's going to be played out today, after the three matches, there's going to be a minor announcement coming regarding the seasonal series as well. Uh, but uh, soon, we will have the match going soon. Uh, we had already a notification that the server has been set. So some of the players already have joined the server are not warming up at the moment. As we see that uh, some players are already warming up uh, to the match server. Currently spectating Min. And we already have uh, fixed some minor uh, technical issues that we had yesterday as well. So uh, thankfully there will be no... Or we have a bit improved in this kind of regard. Uh, but let's see how it will go today. So what do you think uh, on... What kind of uh, player expectations... Uh, as you mentioned that uh, fin uh, Fidi and Min could be the best favorites here. Uh, but uh, who do you think that maybe what kind of a map was, uh, could prefer some other players that maybe we could see an upset in, the, in such a pick? Since I personally also do think that Fidi and Min are the strongest ones, but uh, since uh, uh, since Chunk has actually improved some of the times on some of the maps, it's uh, I definitely think that he can also sh definitely challenge uh, the Australians for those grand final slots. Yeah, absolutely, Chung. Uh... I noticed in the open qualifiers he struggled on the uh, the SIK, the your map, the Hute, Hute is it? And um, Hute. yesterday we saw him Hute, okay. Hute. Uh, yesterday we saw him improve his consistency there, and I do believe he's possibly made. I oh, know that was a day ago that he improved his record there, so I think that's going to be a big map for him. He is strong on the uh, burn it all down tech map. Um, but I think if he can maximize these points he gets from your map, I think that'll uh, that'll definitely give him more of a chance. Um, Winky Face, uh, I believe, has improved his time on the, the campaign map, uh, which is good. I think he really struggled on that map, as did a lot of players. I think Min showed absolute dominance there. But I think if Winky can 
work out some consistency and push that map. Uh, he'll also do better. He's very strong on this map, on Chalk, uh, as well as on, I believe, Sliced. He uh, actually has uh, the best time there. So Winky has some strong maps. It's definitely just the the campaign map that let him down. But uh, Fiddy and Min have just seemed strong everywhere. So I still think they're going to be the ones to look out for. And Chung and Winky just have to get through their problem maps, sort of maximize the points they're getting, and they'll be able to take the fight to Fiddy and Min for sure. Yeah, actually I'm now checking the leaderboards and it looks like Fiddy has uh, and Winky have improved some of the times here and there on maps like Slice. And as you mentioned on 23, uh, where Winky has uh, beaten uh, the Koreans in terms of time, has set a top, uh, 50, uh, top 20 roll time on top of that, uh, with Min at the moment sitting in... Uh, 22nd world position on map 23 but we saw that uh, Min was looking very very consistent on uh, 23 while others were having a lot of mistakes since it's a quite punishing map if one tiny mistake one tiny miss jump can really let's say ruin your run uh, so I do think that uh, some of the uh, consistency will be the main thing and maybe not so much of the pace however since we're starting to go to the uh, top six uh, uh, of the tournament, we're definitely gonna see a bit more consistency and definitely the pace will be pushed to get those plus 10 pointers uh, since they will be very very important if they don't uh, drop out or uh, don't make it to the grand final as uh, only two players will not be present there as we all at the moment we're gonna be spectating the winner's bracket final uh, where all of these players will have like the second opportunity if they do drop out of this uh, match uh, they will still have the opportunity to play in the loser bracket final where they'll have a possibility to bounce back Into the grand final uh, But let's see how it will go as we have 30 seconds on the way in the warm-up and then we'll be starting the match uh, From your experiences from the open qualifiers, uh, which were your uh, favorite maps personally and uh, What do you think are the hardest parts that might not look like that they are that difficult, uh, but it actually are yeah, so on this, uh, on this map actually, this was definitely my favourite. I don't think it was my strongest map, but this ice section we see Fiddy playing here is a very, very tough section. Avoiding clipping that checkpoint is uh, very precise, uh, especially keeping speed off that ice as well. Um, we are about to jump into the game, but keeping speed off that ice and not clipping the checkpoint is very, very tough to do. And we are going to jump right into round one here. All four players often racing, Fiddy going for the inside line, Losing out a little bit as uh, Min's going to take the lead. Winky and Chung are right behind him though. Fiddy hovering there in fourth place. Everyone very close. Avoiding the engine the uh, stand there through the engine off section now. Into the bobsleigh. Fiddy a little bit behind. Very, very close race up ahead though. Just half a tenth in it. And who's going to get this drift right? And into this important section. This ice through the checkpoint. Winky looks like he has it clean. Does anyone clip? Looks like everyone threw cleanly. Min, Chung, and Winky in a three horse race here. And who's going to win? It's going to be Min just beating out Chung and Winky. What, a what an really insane really round. Like, like, all of the yeah, entirety of the round, crazy. all three cards were basically touching each other all out the way. But looks like the Koreans will be starting the match uh, with the one and two. Chung almost with a bit more optimal line was able to snipe uh, Min even for those plus 10 points So looks like they will definitely have to push for the pace as we saw that the Mistake from Fiddy definitely made him completely lose out on an opportunity to gain more than three points As we're entering the second round looks like Min tiny bit touched the sand on <laughs> It seems like that's th already that could be like the round killer here as we already have a ridiculously close match a very close entry close players are very to the pack Chung doesn't have the most optimal bobsled line, doesn't get the most optimal smooth steer there. At the moment, the pack is led by two Australians. Looks like Min has a bit better approach, doesn't maintain line, a bit oversteer from Fiddy, loses a bunch of speed, allows Chung to even overtake. Very solid line there from Chung, and Min will come take! No! Actually, Chung still maintains his third position, and Min gets the plus 10 pointer, and already he's in a 20 points in the second round with these insane close rounds happening. Having those two round wins is uh, really impressive. Yeah, really close round again. A phenomenal ending by Min, able to keep so much speed through that drift and gets the snipe on Winky at the end. Important. Oh, and Chung touches at the start, so he's going to lose a bunch of time. That is a huge mistake with how close these rounds have been. 
Min, Winky, and Fiddy all battling for the first place. Min touching a little bit of sand, doesn't look like he loses time. Everyone keeping the upper gear, it seems. Threw the engine off. Fiddy running a little wide. Winky and Min are going to do the overtake. Everyone through the bobsleigh, still very, very close. Chung slightly behind. Through the drift now. Winky with a decent lead. Fiddy and Min battling for that second place. Now through the ice section. Min running wide, just clicks the checkpoint. And there's the first one to fall victim, a massive time loss. And it looks like Winky is going to keep it safe for the 10 points with Fiddy in second, Chung in third. And will Min get the finish? It doesn't. Oh, no, he does just get the three points. Important to make sure you're still getting those three points. Yeah, but sadly, his uh, mistake very early on cost him the round. But looks like uh, Australians now finally take the 1 2. Definitely gonna be a close match. This just shows as soon as you get that one mistake, bit of a release doesn't get the most optimal gear. It's already enough to completely lose the round and miss out on those plus 10 plus 6 points that are gonna be very important. As Min this time has a bit slower start, doesn't get the most optimal lines at the start. Well, we have the rest of the player field as at the top, very close. Very similar lines, looks like Chung tries to force for the lower gear bit there, entering the bobsled. Min has a very nice bobsled, but catches up on the rest of the field. Chung doesn't have the most optimal one. Winky face at the moment in the lead, very sketchy line from Min. Still manages that lose speed, get a slowdown from that. Riss is pushed, gets away, Chung gets to CP, but Min gets an insane speed amount that turn. Gets even a very nice drift, but looks like it's gonna be Australian 1-2 with Winky face taking the plus 10 pointer in this round. And this will be the last round on oh, this map as Chungus looks like he gets an unfortunate respawn in the checkpoint and does not get points due to that. And now we have Winky Pace actually leading the pack uh, with 30 points exiting first map. Yeah, what a round. Uh, very, very close up the top as we are going to move on to the, the campaign map, which is full 23. Uh, again, the matches here were yesterday were absolutely crazy. There were so so many mistakes, and just keeping it clean was uh, seemed like the way to go. Um, having said that, as we've talked about, Min was extremely strong here. There was a there's a very very risky jump that you can do between trees, and there's even a riskier jump where you jump over a bush. And Min was even able to pull that jump off a couple of times, which is crazy to do in a live round. Doing it in time attack is one thing, but actually doing it here is uh, is absolutely crazy. Having said that, we have talked about Winky has set a time today here, which is top 20 in the world and has the best personal best out of all the drivers here, but didn't have the most consistency here yesterday. So let's see if he's been able to work on that. Definitely has the raw pace. Uh, Min with a 27 world time, just, uh, no, sorry, 22 world time, just a couple of thousands behind Winky. So they both have a lot of pace and it's just going to be very interesting to see who can keep it consistent in the rounds as we are about to move in to the first round on Fall 23. Yeah, this is one of the maps that are quite uh, mistake heavy as it re definitely requires, as we saw a lot of, like players need to definitely push for the max phase if they really wanna get those round wins and plus stun pointers. Uh, but this is a map that really requires uh, at, or can pull out a lot of mistakes uh, from the players. So it's uh, let's see what will happen there. Chung tries to get over the link, tries to build up as much speed as possible from that part. Gets the Neo slide through the CP, has the most optimal line so far. It, and goes even for the middle part, gets it perfectly, gets a solid performance as Min is actually gets an early mistake. Fiddy and Winky Face are in a fight for the second position as Chung has a solid lead so far. Gets a nice run easier and is not nothing too difficult. So there's a little room for mistakes there. But at the moment we have Fiddy trying to catch up and extend the lead from the second place. Builds a lot of speed from the plastic section, but it's not enough to take over Chung. And Chung will get a plus 10 pointer in this first round. Yeah, really good uh, round by Chung, keeping it clean. And we already see uh, some mid 50 runs um, and low 50s. So pace is looking really good. Unfortunate mistake by Min early, uh, put him out of the round. But we are going to move on to round two here. Let's see how we do. Min looking very clean. Actually has a nice start. Fitty with a lot of speed through there though. All drivers fairly close through the plastic part here. No airtime. The round still very, very close as we slide through here. Winky slightly behind, but definitely can catch up here. Who's going to risk it through the trees? It looks like uh, Min actually uh, clips over the plastic. Uh, Winky also clips the plastic, so 
big mistakes by Min and Winky, and Chung and Fiddy are now battling for the lead. Chung actually with a nice half second gap here. Chung looking really strong. Fiddy touches as well. So Chung, can he keep it clean now? Everyone else has made a mistake. All he has to do is drive cleanly to the finish. But that's what we're talking about. So many places to risk and uh, crash. And we are actually in a battle for third here. And Min with another mistake is going to get the three points. But what a chaotic round. Yeah, and definitely the Chung definitely is the person who takes uh, uh, takes the advantage of other players' mistakes, trying to keep the consistency up throughout the rounds and uh, capitalizing on other people's mistakes, getting those plus 10 pointers as Vinky gets an, uh, looks like a good old Aussie internet moment. Uh, well, we are actually Min gets a side touch, so it's a 1v win between Chung and Fidi for the rest of the map with the early mistakes happening from both two players. Uh, and uh, looks like we'll be able to chunk to get uh, 30 points from this map as it gets a very nice Neo Slide, gets the pole touch in the mid plastic section. Fidi now goes for the safer route to not push it through the middle part as we saw that previously. It happened uh, in the most unfortunate of ways. As it looks like uh, with the big gaps happening at the back, uh, Chung and Min are at the moment in second and third place. As it looks like uh, Fidi will get a pretty uh, safe uh, plus 10 pointer in this round and it looks like the Koreans fell to the mistakes uh, of the 23. Yeah absolutely, uh, Fiddy the one able to capitalize on everyone's mistakes that round. Uh, good 10 points for him. Uh, it's tied at the top now, 40 points for both Chung and Fiddy. Winky just behind on 38. So very close at the top and this will be our final round here on 23. So let's see how the players handle this round. Uh, it actually looks like someone already made a mistake. Someone touched on the inside, I believe. Uh, Min might have been. He's about half a second behind. Winky has taken the lead here with a really nice start. Chung still there behind him, though. Keeping it clean. Gets a nice slide through the checkpoint section. Good speed through the poles. Does he risk this jump? He does. He gets it cleanly this time. Close between Winky and Chung for the lead. Min and Fiddy battling for third and fourth now. Everyone through cleanly so far. Now through this section, close to the flag. Keep the upper gear, no air time. Everyone looking good. Winky Chung, really, really close though. Chung looks like he went high for a bit more exit speed. Actually has more exit speed. Does he get the snipe? No. What an amazing round though. Really, really close. Winky face does secure the 10 points, holding off Chung barely in the end. Yeah, it looks like Min is starting to crumble a bit uh, as... Uh... Uh, he looked very, very solid on 23 uh, yesterday uh, when it was played, but looks like this time every in every single round he got a bunch of mistakes and did not get to a proper single clean round. And due to that, he lost quite a bit of points due to that. Uh, but Chung meanwhile tried, even though it's a, a couple of mistakes here and there, managed to get score the most points out of any uh, other of the maps. But now we're going to be moving on to who the XXL, uh, which is uh, one of the a, a very mixed style maps with uh, I think the most uh, infamous ice part at the end. Uh, at first, uh, at the start of the tournament, uh, we saw that uh, the Korean players were quite struggling on the ice surface. As we mentioned that uh, both of them are coming from a tech only background and just recently started to switch to the new game. Uh, so with the uh, ice being quite the new surface for them, I think they at least we'll have the most issues as Winky Face and Fidi already have been playing with this uh, new environment uh, a bit more often. So I do think the Australians might cash in some bit more points than the Koreans. Uh, but uh, we saw that yesterday still Chung and Min were able still to get some proper rounds going. And But let's see if it will be enough to take over some of the points from the Australians as uh, we're going to be starting the first round on who to XXL. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Winky and Fiddy definitely look strong here um, if we look at their personal best, but we are jumping into the rounds. Fiddy goes for a different line there, Duga does the inside across the grass. Um, works out fairly even, it seems like, uh, whichever you prefer to go. Um, so all the drivers are very, very close right now through this dirt section. Try and maximise the exit speed. Everyone able to do it. Fiddy a little behind, very, very close. <laughs> As we see... Uh, very close race ahead between Chung and Winky. Everyone on top of each other. Wash off speed for the ice slide. And you want to set yourself up here for the bobsleigh. Looks like everyone threw cleanly. Chung might lose a bit of speed there. Winky has a very, very big lead. Fiddy actually with more speed is going to chop Min there. And Winky will take first place with Fiddy in second. 
fairly clean laps by everyone though. Yeah, it looks like Chung did uh, not have the best. Uh, Chung and Min did not have the best uh, entry for the bobsled part that lost them a bit to the round. Uh, so this is one of the things that I said about since the Sirlin is a bit more experience on ice surface playing, uh, having a bit more experience on the game, that definitely made them uh, pull out uh, ahead of the Koreans uh, who are not so familiar with the surface as we have the first mistake from Fidi already in entering the dirt part. Uh, and we have a three-way fight between Winky, Chung and Min for those plus 10 points at the moment. Winky is leading the pack, falling by the two Koreans. Let's see how it will go on ice stand. Looks like Winky has a solid ice slide. Chung and Min a bit not looking the, that great there. Fidi also not having the best approach there. Min completely sliding out. Looks like Fidi still managed to save himself in a, some way. As goes to the side from side. But at least Chung will get, be able to get... Oh, he had to even respawn. And due to that, I think he will not be able to finish the round. As Fidi at least gets the plus 4 at the end. And Winky gets another plus 10 points. Closing in on the finalist every round. Yeah, unfortunate took at the finish, but uh, Winky looking really, really strong on this map. Actually, his uh, the ties he's doing are currently better than both the Koreans' PBs right now. So Winky with some really good pace here. Uh, let's see how we do this round, though. Fiddy takes the dirt cleaner. He made a mistake there last round. Everyone has a nice speed, keeping it very, very close. The drifts here. Uh, Chung running a little wide, going to lose out on exit speed there. Fiddy with a very nice lead here. Looks like he's running wide. Might have a good entry into the bobsleigh. Winky also looking like a good entry. Oh, he's a little high actually. He's going to lose a lot of speed there. Fiddy with a very nice entry. The Koreans will both overtake Winky there because he had a, a bit of a, a bit of an awkward line into the bobsleigh so wasn't able to maximize the speed through that section. And Fiddy is going to take the 10 points this round. Yeah, it looks like uh, that uh, Min is still quite struggling, doesn't really get the big pointers, while uh, even Chung, that not having the best of rounds, still managed to get those plus sixes at least here and there. Uh, but Winky still managed to use this map to his advantage and scores in and starting to increase the lead for him, because he's at the moment in a minor lead over the rest of the playing field, I mean, not having a bit falling back, as we actually have Chung taking the lead. Before the tech slide, builds a lot of extra speed throughout the part. Min sadly with not the best part, but let's see how it go in the ice part. As we saw Koreans a bit lacking the pace here. Min not having the best of slides. Chung hits the CP. Min managed to get an entry in the bobsled, at least in some form of fashion. In the second place, as Winky did not have the best of slides as well. But we'll be able, Winky has to go for the safe route. And looks like Min... Oh, sorry, Ch uh, Chung was this time who... Uh, was in the last positions and due to that Fidi will uh, both Australians actually will start to increase the gap over the Koreans in this much Yeah, so the uh, the ice there are a bit problematic for a few players Winky actually running really wide on his ice slide and I uh, I know when I did that it was it was very easy to slide out so Did well uh, not to slide out there and to keep it clean and keep his composure and go for the safe finish so Important four points, but we now are going to move on to Sliced by uh, Tallybird. Um, bit, another bit of a mixed map, a lot of dirt on this track. Um, a few transitions. Uh, transitions at the finish line can be a little bit awkward. It is quite risky to make that jump for the finish if you make a mistake. Uh, you want to push very high on these dirt corners as well, so very easy to touch a tyre. A lot of places to risk, but I expect these guys to be doing it very, very well. If we uh, look at the PBs, we see Winky has the best PB of all the drivers here with a 43.634. Fiddy actually set a time just an hour ago on this map, uh, just behind Winky with a 43.718. And then Ch Chung third and Min is fourth. But everyone's time is very close, so it is going to be about consistency here and who can push some of these sections and gain those those few hundreds, those few tenths to go for the maximum points as everyone's finishing their warm-up and we are just about to jump into the first round on Slice. Yeah, Slice will be one of those maps where we might see a, another like close rounds happening behind the players because the PBs are very, very close from them. But uh, it's very easy to, due to this pushed pace, to have some minor mistakes happening here and there. As Min, actually Chung goes for the inside line. 
He gets a bit thrown out of the outside, doesn't rack up that much XSP speed due to that, but it's still quite equal in terms of pace. Pinkie Pie still goes into the lead, falling by Min Chung and Fiddy. Let's see how it's all entering the grass part. Looks like the close pack between the top three players. Uh, Fiddy is a bit behind, Gets a, looks like he got a minor gear down there to increase the gap between the rest of the playing field as it looks like very close winky face at the moment leading chunk has a very sick line there min very close very tight tries to build as much speed as possible for a potential snipe but it will be still winky face taking the plus 10 points falling by chunk min and fiddy at the back winky face another solid performance gets another plus 10 pointer just to increase the gap from the rest of the playing field on a scoreboard yeah winky uh getting close to that finalist mode now Looking pretty strong, another couple of good rounds and he'll be there. But let's see how everyone goes moving on to round two. Let's see if Chung goes for his inside line. He does go for his inside line. Min actually touches there, so he's going to lose some speed. So Chung gains an advantage early, but does lose exit speed going for that line. But it does work out to be fairly, fairly, fairly close here. As uh, he and Winky are going to push for that one and two race. Fiddy just behind. Min's made that little touch, so he's a little, he's about a second off the pace. Everyone through this section, if you want to get the gear before you make the jump to the grass here. Through this section, just turn left and pray. And now through this dirt section. Chung actually losing speed. Fiddy's catching up. No, Chung with great exit speed though. But not quite able to catch Winky really close in the end. And Winky securing another 10 points, looking very strong right now. Yeah, looks like he definitely, he's, he's only 5 points away from entering finalists. He has 14 points of difference between the second place, which is Fiddy. Looks like Koreans definitely need to step up their pace if they want to get a slot in the grand final right away from the winner's final. So they definitely need to try to do some damage and try to attack the Australians uh, if they want to have something for to change. Because it looks like going to be a bit closer back. Looks like Fiddy tries to attack actually for those plus 10 points. So Winky actually has to just to do the uh, one uh, first or second place. In the round as Fiddy crashes out, looks like we have a close fight for those plus 10 points. So Winky just needs to get a top two placement and he will be able to uh, en enter the final stat uh, status in this match as it looks like the Koreans are trying to deny Chung touches the side of Winky Face also so it looks like it's gonna be a free plus 10 points for Min due to that and Chung uh, denies Winky the plus uh, plus five gap and actually Winky will actually uh, barely will it just over be over Fiddy in this round and will still not be able to enter finalist but at least Koreans will slowly now get closer to them, uh, to the rest of the playing field. As there's only two points difference now between Chung and Fiddy. Absolutely an important round for the Koreans there. Uh, as we move on to the next round, Winky, Fiddy, Min all battling for the lead. We saw... Oh, Winky actually touches. They're going to lose a ton of time to everyone. Fiddy threw this section cleanly where he made a mistake last time. You want to turn right as soon as possible to get up this grass hill and Fiddy went a little bit too early last round but seems to have sorted it out and now he's uh, got a very very nice lead here over the Koreans trying to chase him down. Chung's actually going to overtake Min here, been a little slow there but Fiddy with a really really nice advantage is going to secure the 10 points it looks like. Chung holds off Winky in the end to hold down at second and that will put Winky into finalist mode now. Yeah and no, i Winky with his first finalist attempt in the match, but it's gonna be done on the next map. Uh, I believe we will have a full map rotation now being done, if I believe. Oh no, it's gonna be Burn It All Down, yeah, from Super All. Uh, will be the la map where we potentially might see the match unfold uh, or be the last map in this match. This was one of the maps that was quite looking quite good. Uh, Min was looking very, very sick on. Uh, if we uh, check uh, the times, it uh, looks like that, uh, yeah, majority of these players in this match are actually the best players in this match. As we saw yesterday, Min doing solid 50.1 uh, once being done. Uh, world record here is by Winky Face, who did just three hours ago, 49.5. Following by Min with the 49.6. Chung and Fiddy both also improved their personal best to a 50.0. Uh, from both of them uh, just a couple of hours ago so we might expect another close match here but it does look like that uh, Winky and uh, and Min are the favorites on this map 
Uh, but we saw a bunch of mistakes happening here and there from the players as they were trying to push for the best. But I do think that we might see a similar uh, rounds being done as we saw on Nachos, man. Absolutely, I am expecting uh, some good races here, but as you said, easy to make mistakes, easy to push it just that little too far and clip a tire somewhere. But let's see how they go. Winky is in that finalist mode, so he just needs this one win and he will be through to the grand finals. So let's see how he goes. Uh, the driver's all off to a really good start here. Make it through this drift, this transition here. Who does this well? Chung and Min, the Koreans out in front here. Looking very good. Fitty a little bit behind here, a few tenths. Uh, Winky trying to challenge uh, Chung now for second place. Keep the speed through the grass section. Very, very close race for the lead here. Fitty keeping an eye on it. Now we go into this short plastic section and then through the booster. Who does the drift well? I mean, going for the inside line. Really close to clipping some of those walls. But he is right on Winky, right on Chung. Who's going to get more speed out of the dirt? Min with really good speed, right neck and neck with Chung. One final drift, and oh my god, what a race. Min just getting the win there. Really good end by Min to secure the 10 points and deny Winky from exiting, from winning this round. Yeah, this looks like the map where we could potentially see Koreans making a minor comeback as actually Chung is just six points away from fi entering finalists him as well. Uh, sadly, Winky's first attempt in finalists did not, was was not uh, successful and uh, Fidi is also just three points away, so Fidi just needs to finish. As we have the uh, fastest player on this map out in the first round, so it might be uh, an ending is if Winky Face managed to win this or maybe Chung or Fidi might deny this. It's still a very close fight so far. Fidi tries to attack, gets a lot of excess speed, not the most, uh, not the best line from Chung right there, but the fight is still quite close. Winky still maintains his first place coming up to the plastic turn, gets an oversteer, looks like both players now are on a very equal field. Chung tries to push it from the inside line, but does not work out. Fidi still now in the lead, trying to deny Winky the finalist, he has only like 0.3 difference, but I think it might be enough unless major mistakes happen in the end, and Fidi will be denying finalist for Winky Face and will enter the finalist status himself and I will have the first double finalist round as well Al as well Chung is only two points away from finalist himself yeah this is the, uh, getting really really close now Winky's been denied twice so not able to get out of finalist yet Fiddy joining him on that finalist status and the Koreans also very very close to it so Let's see who can keep it clean here. Chung with a little bit of a slow start, losing out a couple of cents. Min going for the inside line to overtake Winky. Winky and Min really, really close here. Fiddy also in the mix. Min with slightly lower speed than the Australians through there. Chung actually catching up now. Really good exit speed from him. And Chung going a little wide hit, but looking like he's going to keep a little bit of exit speed. Fiddy actually with a really, really wide line allows Chung to catch up. Winky and Min really, really close though. Winky with slightly more speed. Fiddy also in the mix. Winky touches. Min touches Fiddy now. Winky is completely out. Can Fiddy keep it clean? He does. And Fiddy is going to be our first winner. What a what a round. Yeah, very unexpected uh, scenario here. Fiddy is the first player sent to go into the grand final. Denying Winky face uh, the opportunity for a couple of rounds now. And due to that, we have Chung now entering finalist as well. If uh, Winky or... And there's only one opportunity for the players to enter the final from this match. Looks like at the moment Chung and Winky Vice are in the best positions. Or it's up to win to deny. Okay, we will have the final decider on who will be going into the grand final. Looks like Winky Face is on a bit of an upper hand so far. But looks like Chung is trying to attack for that first place since Min is out of the round. And looks like uh, Winky Face at that moment in his lead. Chung tries to push for the inside line, try to build as much speed as possible. We did see Winky Face having a bunch of mistakes at the end, but will it be enough for Chung to potentially catch it up? He does gain as he gets a bit more speed, but will it come down here? Winky Face is a very sketchy line there, but looks like it will be enough. We have seen mistakes at the end, and it looks like it will be both Australians going to the grand final from the winner's bracket final. But congratulations to Winky Face and Fiddy, who will be the first two players in the grand final. And due to that, both Koreans will be now playing the loser's bracket final that will be played in approximately 30 minutes. But then once again, congratulations to Winky Face and Fiddy on being the first two players in the grand final. And due to that, they are 100% secure for some prize money on top of that.
Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations to Winky and Fiddy, as you said. Chung, not quite able to bring it home. And Min, unfortunately, didn't quite have the performance he showed us yesterday. But both the Koreans will get to uh, have another chance. They're not out yet. They are going to go into the lower final for a chance to make it into the grand final to join Winky and Fiddy, who are our first grand finalists. But uh, quite a chaotic match there on the final map. There was a few mistakes, a lot of bonks, but... Uh, Winky and Fiddy able to 